All right, this is Jim from Jägermeister. We're here at Damnation 2012. We're here with the guys from Devil Sold His Soul. How was your set, lads? Bit of a different bill for you guys. It was a bit different, yeah. It's um, it's always not necessarily an odd one, but it's a bit quite extreme. Yeah, we don't really know what to expect, but this this year was awesome. It's nice to be asked back as well, so it's cool. Yeah, I mean, we didn't know what to expect from the uh, from the response, but it was definitely good. Definitely didn't have anything bad happen, so it was cool. Must be quite a scary experience going on front of a, a crowd that let's say uh, set in their ways yeah I mean we were fully anticipating bottles but there weren't any so yeah. I, think, I think it was a, I remember a moment looking at looking at Joe I think it was when we were playing we're halfway through stor as the storm unfolds or something like that looking at him because I looked up <coughs> excuse me and saw, uh, saw seen the crowd and I was like holy shit that's a lot of people that are here and you could see people were going yeah and I was like this is cool. This is, yeah, it's really cool. It's nice. On a uh, on a side note, that's some impressive facial hair you're sporting there, which isn't for Movember, I'm guessing. It's well, <laughs> the thing is, it's pretty much. I I need quite a head start when it comes to growing facial hair. I've tried to grow a beard for like the past ten years, and nothing's happening. Like that's this how is. It grows in. That's pretty much how it. Yeah. That is pretty much how it grows Mine in. Mine grows in much like yours, just everywhere. So but his grows in like that. It's just it's really depressing because I can grow a, a average tash, but no fucking beard game. So you know it's. Tash or nothing? Tash or nothing. It is an impressive Tash. What advice would you give people for manicuring their uh, facial furniture? Um, I think you need, to, you need to cut in and define the outline uh, as much as you can from an, early, from an early stage. And then you've got... Don't forget you need to trim around the uh, lip otherwise you that you trim around the lip. Yeah. Your hands. And um, if you can get any Tash wax, like conditioning wax, that's hey. often a good thing as well. He never so. did that on, in, in Russia. He was trying to grow out the edges so he could... Start yeah. curling it, but you didn't they, do it. They, they, I have maintained that though. The length yeah. at the ends is still there. I just going. obviously need more lengths. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that could be your task for next year. Now. My task for next year, yeah. Hopefully, I'll see you next year and be like, so Lex, how's a, how's your length <laughs> doing? <laughs> <laughs> You need a monocle as well, though. I do need a monocle. I was going to go for the top hat monocle and maybe a smoking jacket combo. Currently, so, you know. it looks a bit more uh, village people it than does it does. Look, uh, it looks hideous at the moment. So, you know, gentlemen, but it's like it, it was bad enough getting past the itchy stage, and now it's just like brilliant. I look like this, I'm walking around looking like this, but you know, I'm trying to get past it. Oh, brilliant I stuff. A, <laughs> had a pretty sick accidental beard yesterday. In fact, accidental it was just it was accidental. It happened in about a week and a half, and it was actually. Pretty impressive. It was pretty impressive, but it was too itchy, had to take I'm, it off. I'm, I'm quite gutted that you shaved it off, I'm you not going to lie. Though. I did see it, but a picture of it. Yeah, I was quite gutted that you shaved it. I saw it on Instagram. Yeah, well, that's exactly I where he saw it. Well. My girlfriend so, took yeah. a picture and he saw it on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been kind of a big year for you guys. What's the plans for next year? More touring, just get as far and wide as possible. Pretty much. Um, just as many new territories as we can, like so maybe the US, Japan, Canada, Australia. Yeah. I think Australia is the big one. Everyone's like, oh, Soundwave, get a fist for Soundwave. It's like, it's such a good festival. Like, and, and the run up to it as well, like the fringe events are so, you know, so like highly sort of, they're held in quite high steed. So it's, you know, it would just be awesome to get, get over there. So Plus kangaroos and koalas. Oh, hell yeah. This man it's, gets the kangaroo koala. It yeah. looks awesome. Every, like, I can Every man comes back with pictures. Like, I can remember seeing after after your demise and architects went over there. They were just like, someone said, like Dan Searle has changed his profile picture, and it's just him hugging a koala bear. Like, so and it's like you just get off a plane and they hand you a koala. Like, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Australia. Here's a koala bear. Just Sweet. like a welcome present. <laughs> Living the dream. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Metal and mustaches. Nice one. <laughs> Thank you.